Hello my friends, welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today I'm gonna run through Belle and Beast's level 10 quests and see if we can get that new flower stall that everybody is talking about. I'm so excited to get started. I finally got both characters to level 10. First let's grab this blue chest over here. Gotta get those moonstones guys. And I am happy to report that I have finished the star path. It is completely done and I've got every single reward in here. All right, let's see if we can find Belle and the Beast. Okay, so Belle is in her house. I think Beast is the one that we have to get through in order to get the flower stall. So let's go ahead and talk to the Beast and we'll kind of do both at the same time. Hello. Hello. Hey, you're looking chipper today. It is a pleasant day. It's nice to see you, Jamie. Well, that's a lovely change. What's on your mind? I have an idea for a project of sorts. Do you think you could help? Oh, yes, I think this is the flower <laughs> stall. <laughs> so what's the big idea? I've noticed something missing from the valley. There are many flowers here, but one important flower is missing. Ooh, the rose. There are no roses. You're right, I've never realized that before. But Beast, I have thought with your history with the Enchanted Rose that I might not like them. Exactly. Well, yes, there is one rose that is difficult for me to speak of. But ever since Belle came into my life, roses have changed from a symbol of my misfortune to a symbol of what's growing between us. That is so sweet. What do you need my help for? Well, I was speaking with Kristoff and communicating with Wally... It seems that the best way to ensure that roses grow well here is to start them in a greenhouse. Ooh, you need my building expertise. Yes, I tried to begin building one myself, but well, my paws are too large for the fine work required. Kristoff helps by telling me what is needed for a greenhouse. Glass, dry wood, gold ingots, crystal, and soil. And please take this frame for the greenhouse. Kristoff was able to help me with that as well. Don't worry, I'm on it. Oh wow, okay, this is happening faster than I thought. Goodbye. All right, so spoiler alert, I already have everything that I need for the greenhouse. Oh no, it's raining. All right, even though it's raining, we're gonna go ahead and craft this outside. Oh my god, there it is! Okay, this is happening a lot faster than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, so he gave us the greenhouse base. We have the wood, crystal, soil, gold ingots, and glass. Oh my gosh! Alright, place the greenhouse. Well, I wish it wasn't raining when I did this. Hmm. I wonder if I should wait and do some of Belle's quest since it's raining right now. All right, let me work on Belle's quests and then we'll place the greenhouse when it stops raining. I have so much to tell you. Jamie, I have an exciting story to tell you about a treasure hunt. Do you have time to hear it? Ooh, a treasure hunt, of course. Well, since you helped me get my memories back and set up my study again, I've continued reading through my journal and I've discovered even more things about my past in the valley. It seems that right before the forgetting began, I was on the trail of something called the Chronicles of the Ancients. Oh, the Chronicles of the Ancients. What is it? I think it might be a book, but something strange happened. There are parts of my journal that I can't make sense of. The letters are shifting, shimmering. So I was wondering if you could take a look. It's at my house. I'll examine it. Oh, wow. I wonder... There are so many things that are alluding to the stories that are coming in the game. I don't know if it was Belle. I think it might have been Belle who was talking about the fact that we used to play at Skull Rock, like, inside of there. And I was like, oh my god, that's definitely because we are going to be opening that up soon. I'm really hoping in the next update. Because we really need a new area, for sure. All right, here's the book. It says, The Chronicles of the Ancients. All points hidden, an island away. I hope find it again. Ooh. 
There are so many things coming to the game that I am very excited about, and I think this is sort of like leading up to it. I like my little Beauty and the Beast area here. I'm not fully finished with it, but this is what I've got so far. I think it's pretty cute. All right, let's go catch Belle before she gets away from us. I'm so glad we get to talk. There was a page from the Ruler's Diary in there. It mentioned something about the Chronicles of the Ancients being on an island away from the valley. Oh. It's not in Dreamlight Valley? Oh. oh no, that means it's lost to us. Oh. I found Ariel stuck on an island away from the valley, and she found a lot of mysterious artifacts below the water there, so maybe she can help us. I'm sure we'll oh. find it. I hope you're right. I'd really like to solve this mystery. I'll go ask Ariel if she ever found something like the Chronicles of the Ancients on her island. You know what would be cute is if other characters pulled out umbrellas when it was raining. I would love that. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, Jamie. Oh, you look like you want to talk to me about something. How can I help? Belle is looking for something called the Chronicles of the Ancients. It's supposed to be hidden on an island away from the valley. I was thinking that maybe you could help us. Oh, I'd love to help Belle. Now let me think. You know, there was something strange on that island. Something glowing, trapped behind some rocks. I never found a way to see what it was, but it might be what you're looking for. Thanks, Ariel. I'll go check it out right now. All right, examine the chest trapped behind the rocks. This is so cute. I wish there was more over here. Oh, here we go. Heavy rocks are piled upon a glowing chest. It's going to take a tremendous amount of strength to remove those stones. Okay, now we gotta go talk to Belle. I'm so glad we get to talk. <laughs> Jamie, you're back. Did you find anything on the island? Yes, there's a chest stuck under some rocks. I couldn't get to it. Mm -hmm. That must be what we're looking for. We just need to figure out how to get it out from under the rocks. Maybe the two of us will be enough to lift it. I completely agree. I think we should ask the beast for help. It would be good for him to join us on an adventure, and he is very strong in case we need that. I'll go ask him, and I'll bring him some materials. He might want to make some tools to help us. That's a marvelous idea. Then we can all go to the island together, you, the beast, Ariel, and me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jamie, perhaps you should wear something you won't mind getting dirty. It could be your adventuring outfit. How cute! Au revoir! Okay. So we need ropes and iron ingots. So let's go back to our house and get that. Actually, I might be able to just craft them real quick. Okay, another ropes. Got it. Alright, now let's give these materials to the beast, who I think is still at the restaurant. <laughs> give. Hello. Hello. Huh? What's all this? Well, it's because Belle needs help. Oh. Belle? What can I do for her? She really wants to find the Chronicles of the Ancients. It's on an island. It's on that island away from the valley. We need your help to move some heavy rocks, and I brought you some materials in case you want to make something to help you. Think you can do that? Of course I can. Wait, do you think I'm not capable? <laughs> His roar is so scary. <laughs> no, I think you can do it. Good. And thank you for the materials. <laughs> now lead the way. Farewell. All right. Let's go back to Ariel's Island. Oh, we have an optional outfit situation. A rustic outfit? Oh, we have to do that. Okay. Rustic. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna wear this. This is perfect. Let's see. Is there anything else we want to wear? The brown adventure boots? Those would be cute. This counts as rustic? This gown? <laughs> what? Or what about the green ones? No, the brown ones. Let's see. Uh, oh, I like this necklace. And should we wear a backpack, too? That looks really cute, actually. I kind of am in love with this. Okay. Or should it be a brown backpack? I like that. Okay, now let's go back to the island. 
Hopefully everybody meets us over there. Yes. All right, wow. Okay, Ariel's right there. We have to talk to the beast. Hello. Hello. I'm ready to shift the rocks. Just tell me which ones I should remove. It's the ones that have something shining behind them. I see them. Make sure you and Belle stay back. What about Ariel? There, it's done. Great job, and nobody got crushed. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Take the scroll from the chest. <gasps> Look at how cool it looks. Ooh. Oh, look at these symbols. I've got this one that looks like a wave with like a mermaid tail. And then this one looks like snowy sort of mountains. This looks like the Glade of Trust. And then this looks like maybe like a desert or something. It's the fire. I don't really, I don't really know. There's no description for it either. Okay. May I help you? Jamie, I'm curious, what's on the scroll? It was a memory. It showed me some symbols. Do you think they're related to this chest? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to know what's inside the chest. I'm going to open it. Yes, let's do this. I'm glad you agree, Jamie. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, it's locked. But there's something written on it. To reveal the secret inside, one must recapture the scattered symbols in the quickest painting of all. Huh. It must be the one from the memory. Oh. I'm sure you're right. Oh. But what does it mean, the quickest painting of all? Oh, I know. I could use my camera. It creates a picture, so I guess it would be like a sort of painting. Your magic oh. never ceases to amaze me, Jamie. Now let's see. The inscription also says the light of the moon will make them easier to see. The first one will be nearby. Oh. So the first symbol I have to find is somewhere around here. And I'll see better at night. Let's not waste a moment and start right now. You never do shy away from a challenge. Good luck, Jamie. Oh, hmm. this is wonderful. All right, so this one says, take a picture of the first symbol on Ariel's beach. Visiting at night makes the sim symbol easier to see. Okay. So the symbol is here, but it'll be easier to see at night. Okay, let's try making it nighttime so that we can see this symbol. And if you don't know how to do that, this is how you do it. Oh, you go to the graphics. Let's do 10 hours from now. It should be nighttime. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? Oh my gosh, you guys. It was literally right here. I don't know how I didn't see that. But let's go ahead and take a picture. Alright, now we go back and talk to Belle. I have so much to tell you. Look at this chest. I feel like this is definitely going to have something to do with the mysterious cave and all the Atlantis type stuff that we have in this valley. You did it, Jamie. Something happened to the chest. It started to glow. Now we only have to find three other symbols. Is there any clue where to find them? Yes, there's a message that says you'll find the others in the Valley of Dreamlight. One near Watery Ruins, Glade of Trust. Another under the eyes of icy peaks, which has got to be the Frosted Heights biome. And the last one you'll find in the darkest part of the lands. That's got to be the Forgotten Lands. Oh, remember, they're easier to see at night. While you look for the symbol symbols, I'll ask the beast to bring the chest back to our home. Good nice. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it dark while we go look for the other symbols. I'm going to assume that they're over here somewhere near the ruins. Oh, there it is. It's on this rock right here. All right, we got one down. Now let's head over to Frosted Heights. Oh, wait a second. It is over here. Oh, wow. I almost didn't see it because the door is so bright. Okay. Now 
let's go to the Forgotten Lands. See if we can find another symbol over here. Alright, I'm guessing it's gonna be like kind of farther back. In the back somewhere. Oh, got it. Gosh, I don't know how I keep running past these. Alright, now we need to go get the contents of the chest from Beast's house. Alright. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. What is it? Ooh. What's that about? Alright, let's hang on. First, let's look at it in the inventory. The Chronicles of the Ancients. There's a screen that should display something, but right now it's blank and invert and inert. Inert? Okay. May I help you? The Chronicles of the Ancients? It looks a bit like a mirror, but it's shattered. It looks like some sort of e-reader, which is a machine that contains the text of lots of books. I'm sorry, Belle, but I think it's broken. If the screen worked, maybe we could read it. Do you have any other information? No. None of my research said anything about that. Aww. It is rather sad. Aww. I wish I could have read what's inside it. Wish, huh? I know someone around here who loves granting wishes. I'll go talk to the fairy godmother. I bet she can help. Hmm. Au revoir. Bring the Chronicles of the Ancients to the Fairy Godmother. Okay, so since it is no longer necessary for it to be night, let's go back to daytime. And... Do you want to give these items? Yes. Hello, my dear. If you've something on your mind, I'm always happy to lend an ear. Well, Belle was looking for this object. It's called the Ancient or the Chronicles of the Ancients, and oh yes, I've heard many things about that marvelous treasure. Well, we found it in a. How wonderful! Belle must be so happy. The thing is, it's broken. She's devastated. Oh dear. Well, perhaps if I could see it for just a moment. It's the thing I just gave you. Oh. You did? <laughs> oh, yes, of course, you did. I have it right. Now, where did I put it? Ah, yes, here. Hmm. Well, that's rather curious. It looks almost like a mirror. I haven't the faintest idea of how it works, but I, su I suspect what's wrong with it is that it's cracked. And I'm sure with just a few items, I could fix that. Let's see. I'll need some gold ingots. Vitalis crystals, dream shards, and a sapphire for the enchantment. Oh, that's great news. I'll go fetch those. Now, I might need... Oh, I do have the Vitalis crystals. Okay, so I need the sapphire, the gold ingots, and the dream shards. So I'm just going to run back to my house and grab those things. Alright, I've gotten everything I need. Why is she running away? Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Splendid. Congratulations, another job well done. Now, it's my turn to work my magic. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. Ah. Here, that should be good as new. I love the fairy godmother. Oh, look how cool it looks. Mm -hmm. I hope that whatever's inside will make Belle's dreams come true. Ah. Now run along, dear, and give it to her. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we have to bring it to Belle. Look at it, it looks so neat. It says, this ancient technology contains hours upon hours of reading materials that will enchant any book lover. If they only, if they only understood the language. Interesting. All right, let's go find Belle again. All right. Ooh. The Chronicles of the Ancients, it's working. So it wasn't broken beyond repair? No, just sort of asleep. Oh. Thank you, I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh. But while you were gone, I had a thought. As an honorary librarian of the Dreamlight Library, I would never want to keep this treasure to myself. It belongs in the library. Oh, that's incredibly generous of you. 
That's kind of you to say, but this has never belonged to me. It belongs to everyone in the village. Please place this next to the Dreamlight Library alongside the piles of books so everyone can enjoy it. Oh, cool. I wonder if it does anything or if it's just going to be decoration. Hmm. Okay. Is it going to do anything or is it just going to look pretty? Probably just going to look pretty. For now, anyways. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, thank you, Jamie. I'm so glad that everyone can enjoy this marvelous book now. You're such a good friend. You're a good friend to me, too. That's very nice to hear. Thank you. Thanks to you and the other villagers. I've enjoyed being here so much. You always make me feel like I belong. I have marvelous books to read and people to talk to about them. We've been through so many adventures in the past, and you've, made, you've even made rediscovering my past an adventure. For all of that and much more, I want to give you this. Ooh! Uh, I'm putting that dress on immediately. It's an outfit from Mr. McDuck's shop that's just as exceptional as you. <laughs> Thank you again, Jamie. I can't wait to find out what our next adventure will be. Aww. Okay, immediate wardrobe change. First of all, let's take this backpack off. And let's do, oh my gosh. Let's do the dress, because I don't care about the other one. I just want the dress. <gasps> Look how cute! Oh my goodness! All right, we have to put shoes on that match, and I'm totally gonna use this for my dream light or my dream snaps photo for this week. These are cute. Okay, we'll do those. Okay, we obviously we just have to change everything now. Should we do the books? Those are very cute. Okay. <laughs> Adorable. Should we change the hat? I don't know what we could change it to at this point other than like a crown or something. Or we could just do nothing. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm a princess! Wow. Look at how beautiful this dress is. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Now that it's sunny and beautiful, let's go ahead and place our new stall our new flower greenhouse thing i think i'm gonna put it over here first i'm gonna move some stuff around yeah it actually will fit perfectly right here okay let me move this back over a little bit there we go oh my gosh <gasps> look at that that looks beautiful okay we gotta go talk to the beast All right, he's inside. Let's go talk to him. And then I know that it's gonna cost a lot to upgrade that stall. Excellent work, Jamie. Thanks, what's next? Well, we need roses. There are some beautiful red ones growing where I come from. Back where you come from? You mean your realm? Yes, could you get some cuttings for me? I'll familiarize myself with the greenhouse while you're away. Oh, okay. You should find them without trouble. Please make sure that you take healthy flowers. They'll have the best chance of taking root here. There's On it. Special about this place. I really feel like whoever is doing Beast's voice is doing it in a really creepy way. Like, it sounds like him, but it's it, he, the way he's talking is just, like, kind of creepy to me. All right, here we are in the realm. So let's go down. I think that we need to go down to the garden area where those rose bushes are. I'm going to assume that's where we need to go. Is this? Oh, yep. Okay. So we want to water the dry ones. Okay. Now, pick up the healthy roses. I love how <laughs> all the bushes just, like, died <laughs> when they left. Okay. 
Oh my god, I'm so excited to have roses. All right. Bring the roses to the beast. Oh my gosh, I need to eat. I'm going so slow. All right, let's go. Speed, speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Fresh roses, as promised. Excellent. Thank you, Jamie. They're beautiful. I'm an excellent gardener. <laughs> not in real life. In real life, I'm not at all. What do you want to do with the roses? I was hoping that you could help me distribute them among some of the villagers. That's so sweet, of course. You must give one to Wally. I've learned many things about gardening from him. And Mirabelle as well. She's been very welcoming. Wally and Mirabelle, got it. And Mother Gothel. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I know that's an unusual request, but she has left Belle and me alone since the unpleasantness. I wanted to give her something as a token of goodwill. I hope we can put our past behind us. That's very diplomatic of you. The remaining ones I'll keep for now. Some will go to the greenhouse so we can create more rose plants, and one I have special plans for. How mysterious. Well, I guess I'll be off to deliver to Wally and Mirabelle and Mother Gothel. Thank you. Oh my god. So cute! Alright, let's go find our people. Our first stop is gonna be Wally. Oh my god, he's so cute! Okay, let's give him his rose. I love Wally. This is for you, Wally! It's a gift from the beast. He knows that you love gardening and wanted to bring you a flower that's new to the valley. Maybe things got a little awkward when you were showing him your gardening skills. So this is a little apology from him. Oh, he's so excited. Enjoy. I'll let the beast know that you like it. Awesome. Now let's go get Maribel and Mother Bethel. Hello. I helped the beast to bring some roses back from his realm, and he wants to share them with the valley. Uh -huh. Well, I suppose that is relatively harmless. <laughs> it's not my preferred form of enchanted flower, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it is rather pretty. Consider it a peace offering. The beast hopes that this will mark a new period of, let's say, relative calm between you two. Oh. Very well, I'll play nice. Excellent. What are you waiting for? Go! All right, and Mirabelle, I'm going to interrupt her dining with Mickey to give her this. So glad you're here. Hey, Mirabelle, special delivery for you. One new rose. Oh, Jamie, it's beautiful. The beast sends his greetings and thanks for welcoming him into the valley. Huh? That's so what? nice of him. This reminds me of Isabella. She creates wonderful flowers like this all the time. Well, I'm happy that the beast's gifts help you remember your family. <laughs> It will. Please tell him to come visit any time he'd like to say hello. Bye. Oh, how sweet. Oh my gosh, she's taking a bath. Hello. <laughs> Those three roses have been delivered. What's next? I save one especially beautiful rose for a very special person. Aw, thanks, Beast. How did you know I wanted a rose? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> not that you don't deserve one, but it's for Belle. Relax, I was kidding. I care for Belle. I want to make that clear to her. Well, a rose is a perfect way to show it. I suppose you'll want some privacy for that moment. Aww. Actually, your presence would be reassuring. I am not used to being open in such a way. I am I'm nervous. Aw, I'd be more than happy to be there for you. Thank you. There we go. Now we get to watch them have this cute little interaction. Aww. A rose? Oh, it's beautiful. I am glad, but it's nothing next to the beauty in your heart. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just wanted to tell you I care for you, Belle, after spending time with you here. I really hate watching people have, like, conversations. <laughs> you have become more dear, even more dear to me. I feel the same. Thank you for telling me. Aww. Thank you for speaking to me. 
Aw, I caught your chat with Belle. That was so romantic. I am pleased with how it went. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for everything. You've helped me so much. I never thought I'd feel at home here. But you made sure I was welcomed in the valley, found friendship, and helped deepen my relationship with Belle. You even helped me understand what's in my heart. That's what I'm here for. I wanted to give you something. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Ooh. Oh, wow. Thank you. This is an incredible gift. You are most deserving. I will always be grateful, Jamie. In you, I feel I've found a true friend. Oh, how cute. Oh, man. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to replace all these flowers with roses. It's going to look so beautiful. All right. Should we put on the new outfit that we got from Beast? I feel like it's only fair that we do that. Wardrobe. I think it's going to be costumes. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Look how beautiful that is. I love that. Wow. Look how cute. Oh, it looks so fancy. All right. Let's go check out our new flower stall. Okay. It looks like, yeah, it's going to cost us probably a lot of money to spruce this place up. But let's look at it real quick. Okay, so this is going to work just like Moana's ship, I guess. and Or her boat, her fishing boat. Um, and it's going to just, like, give me flowers every so often. So let's... Right now it's only giving four flowers. Wow, he's roaring. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and upgrade it to the max and see what happens. Alright, so the first upgrade is going to be 10,000 gold coins. Star coins. Nice! Oh my goodness. Alright. The next one is 20,000. The next one is 30,000. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many times we have to upgrade this. So we've spent 30, 40, 50, 60 so far. 60,000. Now we're going to do another 40,000. And that's going to bring it up to 100,000. 80,000. And I think that's it this time. All right, look at that. We hit the maximum. Okay, so now let's see. It's going to give us 20 flowers. So I'm going to come back in five minutes and get these flowers and we'll see what happens. But I think this is a pretty good spot. What do we think? Should I move it to my marketplace or does it make a good addition to my plaza? Right now, my plaza is just kind of like a little cartoon town. I have Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Merlin, myself, um, Remy's up here with me. And then I've got like this little kind of fancy shopping district here. What do we think? Do we like the flower stall here? The other option is down in the peaceful meadow where I have like a little farmer's market type thing going on. Which this is like one of the few areas I have decorated for Halloween right now. But this is my little farmer's market. I've just got Kristoff's stall and Goofy's stall over here. And then a bunch of things to kind of make it look like a little farmer's market. Uh, but I can put the flower stall over here and just kind of change the layout of this. Or I can leave it the way I have it now. What do we think? Let me know in the comments uh, what you would like me to do with this flower stall. Alright, it looks like our flowers are ready. Let's go ahead and talk to the beast and see what we have. Oh, we have one flower. Okay, next flower in five minutes. Huh. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to have to come back to this later to get like a full batch of flowers, but I do want to get this video up for you. So let me just go ahead and collect this one flower. And it's a purple marsh pokeweed. <laughs> so I guess when it's fully refreshed i'll show you guys probably on wednesday when i do my premium shop video but we should be getting roses in here as well to add to our valley which i think will be super fun if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful make sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss another dreamlight valley video thanks so much for watching today friends i hope you have a great day and i will see you again real soon Bye.